Just this last month, I netted right under $3,500. And yes, there were numerous factors that went into this. Now, if there's one factor that you're not going to overlook, it should be product research. That's why in this video, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step guide that I use to find the products that I'm selling every single day. And just to give you guys an example, one product I got from this method sold over 80 times in just one month, which last month alone netted me just under $1,000 profit. So without wasting any more of your guys' time, I'm going to show you guys this method. All right, so for this method I'll be showing you guys today, I'm using Ecom Sniper. It's a software. If you guys are interested, I'll have the link in the description. But without wasting any more time, let me go ahead and show you guys. So basically the features on Ecom Sniper are what allow for me to actually find the products and determine whether or not you know they're going to sell or if they're winners. Um, so really quickly, just to show you guys, on the accounts here, um, you know, I have 10,000 listings. And when it comes to this method, not every single item that I'm listing, I'm using this method for. This method is what we consider sniping. And basically what we're doing is just determine whether or not a product has demand. And then, you know, we'll be able to determine the competitive price so that we know where to price it at in order to get the sales. So just to show you guys, more than 90% of our listings are going to be bulk listed. So just to show you guys how that works, you literally just go to any bestseller. And then um, in this case, we'll go right here. So this exfoliated in scrub, part of the software it's going to give you this attachment. It's going to search it on eBay. And then scrolling down, you're going to see the exact same images at a higher price. And that's how you're able to tell whether or not they're drop shipping. So in this case right here, the seller is selling it at over 120%. So we'd click this icon right here, and it's going to pull up their sold history. And just here, we have an idea. These are products that have demand. These are products that have sold. So when it comes to book listing, what you go ahead and do is you extract all the titles of these sold items. And then you're able to view the titles and copy them. And then what you do with these titles is you're going to plug them into the product hunter, which is a part of the software. Um, you put them down here. And then whenever you hit search titles, what it's going to go ahead and do is go through every single one of these titles. And then searching these titles is going to go on Amazon. So for example, we'll copy and paste one of these titles, right? On Amazon, if you search this title, what it's going to do is go through these top results and it's going to um, give you links that match these filters. So it'll be a minimum price of 10, maximum price of 100. It's going to give you two products per title and then you know it follows all the rest of this filter. And then once it's done going through all of the titles, you're going to be able to collect all the links. So you're just going to click export here. It's going to give you all the links and then you're going to be able to copy them. And then from there, what you do with the links is you go to the bulk lister. And then in here, you're going to be able to paste the links. So say this is a link, amazon.com. Um, and then you're going to be able to opt list, standard list, whatever you want to do. And it's going to automatically list all the items for you. So what I typically do is get 100 to 150 links from the product center. Then I put it in the bulk lister and I just let them list, right? And then you have a percentage of the items that if you want to snipe, you can go ahead and snipe which is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But yeah, that pretty much shows how easy and simple it is to get sales, right? You're basically just finding sold items from other sellers, which have proven demand. And then, you know, using the product hunter is going to give you items with similar demand, just with a specific filter to ensure that there's less competition and it's going to go ahead and optimize your title. So now when it comes to sniping, which is, you know, finding items just like we did, but this time ensuring that those items will sell tomorrow, right? These are items with proven demand that we know it sold three, five times within the last 24 hours. So what we're going to do here is same thing, which, you know, I'm actually going to prove a point. Um, we're going to use the exact same item. We're going to go ahead and use the same feature, search it up on eBay. So now what we're going to do is for every single drop shipper, which, you know, just a reminder, you know that they're drop shipping and if they're using the same Amazon images, just with an increased price. What you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to start saving all these sellers. And what this does, which once again, it's another icon that the software gives you, it's going to go ahead and save all the sellers to the competitor research portion, which, as you guys can see here, I already have a list of sellers. These are sellers that are going to be saved that just like what we did for that one individual seller to get the bulk listed items, it's going to run through every single one of their sold items, but this time we're going to put sold history. So what that's going to allow us to do is you know get more in-depth research. So this item sold but how many times did it sell within the last three days, right? 
you're going to have more information which will allow you to you know have a better guess on whether or not it's going to sell right and not just that but it's going to show you of course the price that it sold at so that you know we'll be able to take this specific item look this one up on ebay and then we'll be able to find the lowest price with the exact same title and once we do that you know there's a high chance that you're going to be able to take those you know three sales within the last 24 hours you're going to get a portion of them right because you're the lowest price you have the most competitive price so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is just keep on adding these sellers and then i'm going to go ahead and do that until my list is at about 250 and then i'll get back to you guys and i'll show you guys the next step all right so once you guys finish building your list which i went ahead and added just 50 i'm just showing you guys exactly what i'm doing so from here it's pretty simple the only thing that you guys want to make sure of is that your sold history is on this allows you to actually get more data which you'll need to ensure that you know the items actually going to sell right you want to know how many times it sold within a certain time frame and then you want to know the prices in which it sold so put this on to make sure that you know how many times it sold and then we're going to go ahead and do the last three days the scanning speed this is basically how many tabs it's going to open to scan so really quickly just to show you guys what i'm talking about whenever i click run it's going to open up a tab and what it's going to go ahead and do it's going to start opening up tabs to get the history of each item so this doesn't actually matter that much it's just how many tabs you're going to have open at once so the more the quicker if your computer can handle it so for me i'm just going to keep it at five and then you know i'm going to hit click run hands off it's going to do its thing and then i'll get back to you guys once it's done scanning through all these items all right so at this point the software already went through every single one of the sellers so you just click show all items you're going to get all the results here and then what makes this tool so effective is you can get to select the filter, right? So you can really choose whatever it is you're looking for. For example, minimum sold quantity, you could do three. Within the last three days, that's what we scanned for. Um, and then, you know, you're going to get some results. It's going to only show items that sold three times in the last three days. So, for example, we only got five here, which keep in mind, right? I only scanned through 172. Like I want you guys to build a list of a thousand different sellers, right? Because you're gonna get way more data. So in this case, I only got five results with three sold in the last three days. So let's just say that we did two sold, right? In the last three days. Um, you apply that filter and you'll probably get more results. So yeah, we get 56 results. Um, and what I like to do is scan through. And what I like to do is look for items that are worth a little bit more just because it's easier to find a better margin, right? For example, right here, this item's just under $60, and we're going to look it up on Amazon. It's only 40 bucks, right? So this is what you do, because this person specifically is selling it with this title, and they're selling it at this price, and they've sold it this many times, right? They sold it twice in the last three days. So what we're going to go ahead and do is search on eBay, not Amazon, and we're going to filter it by price. We're going to make sure that they're the cheapest item with that exact same title. So you go ahead and skip to the cheapest one, which happens to be 5507. And this is the thing, right? Because they're the one who's selling at 5909. So this is their listing. You want to see if it's the exact same title. So from what I can see here, it is a different title. So these ones are cheaper, right? These two listings are cheaper than this listing. This is the listing that's selling. So what that means, because we're undercutting the listing, right? We, we find a listing that is selling, we find that product, we find that title, and we undercut it, right? So we steal the traffic. This is the one that's selling, and it has a different title than these two. So we're undercutting this price, not this price. Like this one's cheaper and it's the same item, but we're going to undercut this one because this is the one that's selling, right? So what we do here is you're going to hit snipe title and price, and then on Amazon, you go to the listing, and then from here, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to click similar item number. You're going to click import. And then what's going to go ahead and do, it's going to go ahead and undercut it for you. Um, but keep in mind, right, if this is the item that's popping up on the results, and then you search it on eBay, and there happens to be one that's cheaper than the um, listing that's selling, you're going to want to undercut it manually right because this is just undercutting this listing so if there's one that's cheaper you're going to want to manually go in there and undercut it to what it should be i do like five cents under the cheapest listing with that title so 
I'm going to go ahead and change this to 4.1 because that's what I run my promoted listing percentage as. And from here, you literally just click snipe list. And it's as simple as that. It's going to completely list it for you. And with that item, like there's going to be profit there, right? But if you're solely doing this to build momentum, then you can list items that you're going to break even or make like a dollar on $2. But just to make sure that you are, you know, breaking even or making a dollar or $2, just look up the eBay sale calculator. And then you go ahead and put in um, everything about your account, right? You put the price of the item, then you put your ad rate, and then it'll exclude all the fees so that you know whether or not you're gonna be profitable. So from here, we're just gonna continue going down the list. So I'll just show you guys a couple more items. I'm not gonna show you me doing every single item I'm about to snipe, just because it's copy and paste, right? It's the same thing, same exact process for every different item. All right, so right here, this item sold two times in the last three days at $17.99. And on Amazon, we'd be buying it for 10 bucks, right? So same thing as last time, we're gonna search it on eBay, not Amazon. And we're gonna sort by price, and we're gonna get to where they were selling it at, which was, what was it, 19.99? This one, 17.99. So this is the one that's selling, and then we're gonna see if there's an item cheaper with that exact same title. All right, so there actually is one that's a lot cheaper. The cheapest listing is 14.05, and it has the exact same title, which means we're not gonna snipe this one just because there's not as much profit. So we're just gonna go to the next. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something that you can do here, right? So if the product is broad enough, for example, let's say it's like a picture frame. The only things that matter in the title, if you're describing a picture frame, would be, you know, if their color is in the title, if the, the size, of course, is in the title. But once you have a title that's selling, for example, say this was a picture frame, so it was like a two by three black and white picture frame. You could search that on Amazon and just like this, right, you look at the title, and it's compatible with all of these. So what that means is this one's $45.95, right, and we're selling it at $51.63. I could sell this one with the same title, and it would match the title. It just, I'm, I'm sourcing it for cheaper, right, so there's a higher margin there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, just like the other item, we're going to copy the title and information here. And then once you click on the listing, the supplier you're just going to click import and it's going to undercut it for you but before we list you want to see what the cheapest item is with that specific title so just like before and then like before it's going to undercut it for you and then you're just going to click snipe list and just like this last item you see we didn't really do anything and it went ahead and listed it for us you just click done and it's listed on your account all right so just like the last item Right here, we're selling this one for $27.49. It sold two times in the last three days. And it's broad enough, again, to where this is their supplier, right? $17.99. And we can source it for $15.29. It's the same one, right? Or it's not the same one, but it fits the title. So we can save money here on this limited time deal. So, again, it's the exact same process with every item. Import. It's going to undercut for you as long as the price here is the cheapest. And then you are gonna go ahead and snipe list. All right, so last one here, sold two times in the last three days. And then after looking it up on Amazon, you know, this is where we're gonna be sourcing it for just under $16. And then we also have a 10% coupon, right? So we'll save just under two bucks on the initial price. And then after checking, the cheapest price here is gonna be this one, which is twenty four thirty five. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about when I say it undercuts it for you if the cheapest price is the seller popping up on the scanner, right? So whenever you copy it here, um, you know you click import and you're gonna see it undercuts it for you. This is incorrect, right? Because we found a different seller that's selling it for cheaper. So we want to undercut this person. So we're gonna end up selling it for twenty four thirty. Right, and then now it's undercutted, right? So in Vermeer, you just snipe list, and then the exact same thing for all the other items. It literally just comes down to how much data you have and how many times, you know, a week you're gonna scan through and snipe, right? Like if you wanted to, you could have multiple different lists of thousand sellers, and you could run it through like every single day and only find like, you could only snipe 
items that are, you know, 10 bucks profit minimum. And you could find multiple of those every single day if you had lists of, you know, thousands of sellers and you run them through every single day, right? So it really does just come down to how much you want to put in with sniping. I, I already told you guys about that one product I was selling that I am selling, right? It's $15 profit per sale. And I sold 80 within like a month, a little under 80, but I've already made like over well over a grand just off that one item. Right? All right. So after showing you guys that, I hope you guys understand the power of sniping and I hope you guys understand the process that I'm using with Ecom Sniper. It's fairly simple. Like I said before, like you're going to get lucky with some items. For example, that one item that I'm selling a lot of and I'm making a lot of money off of, I got lucky, but you can increase your chances of being lucky by having a long list of sellers and running through that list a lot, right? So that's the cool thing about sniping, right? Like you can guarantee sales. It might take a long time and it's not like every single item that's selling is going to be highly profitable. But like I said, like you are going to find profitable items. You check the search. So if you guys have any questions with what I went over today, you guys can go ahead and comment down below and then also join the discord. You guys can reach out to me there as well as there'll be a link in the description where you guys can actually book a call with me and then we can hop on one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, other than that, you guys, you know, give me some recommendations in the comments on other topics that you guys want to see me cover. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.